Well, good morning. Hello, Straker. Do you want a little oh, pre-workout? Oh, you strike a match today. Yes, we do. Oh. We're matching. Hey, I'm matching with my puppy. And she is yeah. going to the gym today. She is going to the gym. So, She's excited. we talked about um, this week is important, uh, but it's also important on what vitamins to stop and what vitamins to add in. I thought that's going in the shake. <laughs> no, it's not going in the shake. I hope you guys have enjoyed the cream of rice as much as Mona has and I have. It's going to get more intense tomorrow. Uh, with that being said, I am really happy with how the physique is looking. So I'm going to gauge for myself on what I can supplementation wise take and what I want you not to take. So that's going to come with time. Um, I am dropping water like crazy. I know it's a crazy thing drinking three gallons a day and you yeah. drop the water, but like I tried to explain to you guys, your body will release it. And I'm also doing something that I don't want and I recommend you not to ever do. I'm doing distilled water. So there's actually very, very nothing in it in the sense of micronutrients and stuff. So there's just, it goes right through you. It takes out whatever is in your system and it just <laughs> releases. But it's something I did back in the 80s and 90s. Um, and it was funny because I was watching Rich Gaspar the other day and it's like, I, I haven't done distilled water. Oh yeah, we, were, we saw that video. Yeah, I haven't done distilled water since the 80s or 90s, early 90s. School. And I'm like, you know what? I understand what they're saying about today and drinking water and, and, and don't do them distilled water. But, but for me, it was something different and it worked for me. Um, so I went back to that and I can see the texture of the skin, just the thinness of it. Um, so. When you talk about, some of you will understand, grainy, grainy, the guy's grainy. So that's a terminology not used a lot nowadays because guys don't get grainy. And it's just this complete grainy look. It's just like there's no <laughs> skin to the guy. It's just muscle and it's just the fibers. And so that's the ultimate goal of what I am trying to do. Um, energy, I know, is low for you guys and me. So I'm doing my pump product. Also on top of that, um, the secondary things besides the pump I'm gonna get and, and the push it's gonna give me, but the uh, the blockage of keeping other things down, which is the greatest thing. So here's my distilled water. I'm gonna do that. I actually, you wanna tell them that you're actually doing it too. I am doing it, but what you were not extremely happy about that in the beginning? I wasn't happy about you doing it. I know. Doing what? It's a still one. Oh. Yeah. I'm not joking around with this, guys. I just, I'm being 100% serious. I don't want you doing it. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, she's doing it as well. And so I'm just going to keep a real close eye on her. Um, and the reason why is because it, it, there's no nutrients in it. And, mm -hmm. and it's flushing your body. You're already taking in so much water. And so it's already flushing your body out. This is even doing it more. So the tendency or the possibility of cramping what is what I don't want for you guys. Um, I can deal with the cramps. Um, I understand it. So my whole point, I want to look ridiculous. And this is, this is the level the elites talk mm -hmm. about. I'm willing to push it to that limit. I'm willing to push it so beyond any medical doctor, any, any expert says, oh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I'm willing to go there. And this is one of those things. Um, just for everybody, and I know you guys have been asking, where's the lid? You got a new lid for the blender. <laughs> yeah. It's a new it's a new blender, actually. And it came with a lid. I don't use it, though. A uh, little energy before we take off. Remember, at this time, the glutamine and all that kind of stuff is out for you guys. You're mm -hmm. not doing that. You guys are focused on uh, dropping that water. So we're going to take that with us. I got my, believe it or not, it's what, 6.30, 6.45? This is my second start of my water. You hear that, I already, Serge? I already did my first jug. So, uh, also this stuff is father and son we, we, we were all that, we were all gonna say in the comments we're all asking you right now like yo mike what is up with the fresh fit yeah those shoes from steve 
these, the these are from the incredible um, designer, Steve Pack. We call them the Pack so Attack. Cool. I like those. Got those That's down. What I like, uh, also, the uh, espresso maker. And the father son. Actually. And the father and son. Right. <laughs> Just want to give it a little something, something. Dude, if only we had like a discount code or anything. Right. Fantastic clothing you're wearing great. right now. What's our kid's name? Titan. Oh, that'd be good, man. If we had if a. You, if you, if we up. like like had the code for the clothing and it was named after our kid, I would never forget. Right. Discount code Titan. Check it out. All right, guys. Let's get to this beastie workout. <laughs> All right. My gosh. Did we not just order? Look at the size oh, of yeah, this. Oh, yeah, check thing. this out, guys. Oh, you got to put something on here. Um, you got to grab those. I'm going to yeah, show right. you mine later, guys. Mine is so much cooler. Yeah. And it is pretty darn. It's, it's nice. Check it out. Hey, check what I got out in there. Oh, no, I, I ain't looking at this. Don't be shy. Thing. Look. I don't look at this. Do thing. Look this inside. This Do thing's, not open that bag. He's a sex freak. He's probably <laughs> got like a blow up doll in here. Check it he's out. He's the second bodybuilder to get married to a blow up doll. <laughs> I'll guarantee she's Asian. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, the Wolf Pack is, is great. This is the bigger one. See, mm -hmm. that's great for you. I'm, I go with the smaller version. Yeah, I carry around a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm um, more props to you as well. Jeffrey's behind the camera with those big 20 to over 20 inch arms. Out you know there. what I'm saying? It's crazy. Off subject. Mm -hmm. So Heath lived with me for four or five months couldn't get 20 inch arms Ooh. six months you hate and to hear it. we do a lockdown jeffrey works for us for 11 months now mm. or 12 months yeah. it started 12 months just about and he's now got 20 inch arms that's crazy can you guys tell me what the difference was between heath evans and jeffrey when it came to the philosophy and, and the principles of training and, and nutrition well do not tell them. I can tell you this. I talked to Heath yesterday, and he invited us to stay over his house. And the first thing he said, Yo, Mo, Domino's Pizza has this round, like, homemade pizza. It's brand new. I had it four times already. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I, said, I am so hungry right now. I don't think I want to talk He's about that. He's putting pizza. on the, uh, 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 the Freshman 15 from his new marriage. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Mm, yeah, sure. New Probably. Yeah, right. Yeah. So he's he's uh, arms are getting smaller and stomach getting bigger. Mm -hmm. We love him. Okay. And no, we're not going to stay at his house. <laughs> All right, let's go train. <laughs> All right, we are off to Danny Joe's, uh, which is a great gym. And Striker is like, oh, I'm out of quarantine. Let's go. He's excited. Let's go train some uh, back. Get jacked, father and son. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We pull up to this place. What is this, like Batman's house? You don't want to come around here. This is only where... Oh, jeez. And enter we go. All right, this is a gym that most of you cannot get into. Well, pretty much everybody here can't get into. But don't worry about it. We got you set up. Welcome. To the Titan Castle hideout. And you pull up and it's set. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'll be training for the next couple weeks as I get ready for the Olympia. Hey, Jeff. Big Danny Joe. Oh, man, who's this pretty boy? What's up? <laughs> What's up? I gotta be styling. Oh, my Pro gosh. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. You came here for a photo shoot. I did. This is Danny. This is his hidden little uh, paradise. Yes. Uh, Please don't tell him the address. Uh, I don't, won't tell him the address. It's 1600 Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. Come on over. That's the address. Enjoy it. Put up some signs. And don't break your equipment. Josh is here. Uh, Josh is probably the most incredible uh, videographer. DP that I have ever worked with. So, 100%. What's up, Big Josh? What up, dude? Yeah, Absolute legend. He's actually, he really is like a legend. Can I give you this, bro? I'll link you guys the Hot Pocket video. <laughs> One of my favorites. Not a joke. He's going to make a code. We're going to give you full effect. Check out Danny working this reverse lower grip. 
Now, if you guys don't have a machine, we showed you last time a nice little lower lat exercise. So, here, strikers out of here. Um, we'll, we'll pop the top here so you guys can actually see the fibers working and what they're doing. Um, but check out the camera as well. Josh is here. We're gonna give you a completely different view on this. I guess the, the main notes today is, and I've been asking for this for the last couple of weeks from all my clients, is that uh, what is a, what's the rep look like? And I think Danny can really elaborate on this as well as, if you're doing the right diet, you're, you're training right, you're sleeping right, um, in the sense you're training right, meaning the program is set up for you. Your nutrition is right. Can you still not make gains? 100%. You know why? Because you're not working the muscle as you're moving through it. And like anything, you can get a 300 pound guy to punch and there's nothing behind it because he's so stiff and he's just, Ugh! where you get a 175 pound guy that'll knock your head off mm -hmm because it's the form, it's the technique, it's how he does it, the explosion and all that. So form is a huge, huge part. And most of you think it's just A to B. It's not A to B. No, no, it's no. living in that moment. Yeah. It's in every, every exercise you see him do today, watch, especially when we got Josh here today, watch how he does every single rep. You can see the fibers coming apart, coming together. So contracting, stretching. It's, it's a amazing thing. I'll give you a little scenario here and then we'll have Danny pop the top and do it. All right, you gotta love this kind of grip. Love it. Nice little hook grip. I'm still pushing on the thumbs. Ass is a little back, not tucked in. Slight lean. That's clean. Yeah, we stack that bad boy. Ass is really never touching. Um, and again, it's a little back, I'm not tucked in. That way that upper, that lower body's not heave hoeing anything. Right. Pull that stuff! Show them how you pop the top. Let's go. thing about Danny one he's always always showing perfect form and two he's always really in that muscle here we go that's even better when you can see Ooh. it happen nice go check that out oh nice Stay there, stay there, step right. Woo! Drop lat spread. Prettiness. Woo! Beautiful. I didn't know you could work out in such a fresh fit. <laughs> this is the shot. Oh, okay, Danny, I see you. Mike, you want some of this? I don't want none of that. You sure you don't? Jeez. I might have to do that. Yeah. Danny's giving us a little something. Um, maybe when we start. This is the shot. Like it. Like I got a question for you. Yeah, talk to them. Yeah. I thought that's bad for you. Why is it bad for you? <laughs> yeah, behind the neck. Oh, behind the neck? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, if you're not engaging your back, if you're hurting your rotator cuff, it's bad for you. But with everything in life, if you don't know what you're doing, it's bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> but that if you deep. understand what to do, then it's always beneficial. That's right. So do your own research, study, and 
understand how everything works before you talk about as bad as good, you know? So, love it, love it. Nobody said it, it's, uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know why most of you guys go off of somebody's point of view. Hey, that's bad for you to do behind the neck pull downs. Why, because somebody said it? He said, go do your own research. Go check it out for yourself. Go see what's, uh, what's good for you. Um, and he said it, range of motion. If you got a bad shoulder, obviously we're not gonna ask you to do this. Or if you're an older person and your range of motion is really bad. Recommendation, work on that more than this ego of lifting heavy weights and uh, getting the body right. Range of motion is everything, guys. So, it's just beautiful. Danny, the wisdom. Uh -huh. My peaceful warrior brother. Uh -huh. I wish Serge would have that kind of knowledge. <laughs> Somebody was talking about the other day, hey, uh, when I train in the cold, uh, is that going to hurt my growth? I don't know what that means, but I do understand that you do want to get warm. Um, obviously right here, shirt off already, he is warmed up. You guys know me, I love to stay covered up and sweaty. Uh, but just to give you an idea what the weather is right now. That's pretty cool. It's bright and early. You can see we have the doors open here. I'm a Washington State guy, so I love it cold, and we can still train as hard as we want. Be smart. Hey, warm up. Let's see what other um, cities Serge has on his weather oh, app. He has just come, just come Tijuana. Huh. He has, uh, ooh. Guadalajara. What? And somebody just tried to call you from there. Huh. Hmm. Check his contacts too. <laughs> oh. Look at these guys. Influencers. Alright, ready? And action. influencing everyone. Wow. Look at all that influence. That's a whole lot of influence right there. Oh, great, good. Good steps, Serge. Good steps, Mike on cue. Right Danny Joe looking lean. Same thing. Yeah, just right there. Momo in this. What's happening, Mo? Hey. They're um. Guess what? They're influencing back there. Oh, they are. Yeah, they're influencing. I really don't hard. care about that stuff right now. Right. You want, the only thing I care about is getting this week done. That's right. I, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, am so, I am so hungry. Nice. What are we doing? Do one more step. I'm just walking. I just got here, and I feel like everybody's kind of going crazy. I know. Yeah, you know what? Well, you know how it goes. So, yeah. So this is what I need: water and coffee. That's it. <laughs> They're just influencers. They're so weird. They're just in. They've been standing. Yeah, they've been walking like for an hour on some Zoolander <laughs> shit. Striker. Striker. Can we go back to this yellow line and then continue? Aww. Oh, you don't want to hang out with Daddy, right? Mama's cooler. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mama's so much cooler. Come on. From my angle. Wait a minute, this isn't how you perform it. Why is he leaning back? Why is he going forward? Because he's connected to it. Yeah, there's a basic way to do it. And then when you're a master like this, take it and change it. Make it for what you're doing. Tell me a little something, something about these. You like these? I like these when I'm slicing down. Ah, uh, when, you're when you're getting this, when you when you're yeah. cut up, uh, because it's a great flexing exercise. You're gonna find different exercises, and a flexing exercise is something you would do when you're weeks out or a month out from a show. Now, here's the thing: you're gonna see a lot of guys on Instagram do these all right. year long. Yeah. Bypass that. That thickness and the density is that nine months. This last 12 weeks, I'm okay with this. But when you're off season and you're trying to put that size on, stay with those basic exercises that's gonna give the thickness. These are great for the small ripped guy to look great on social media, but it's not 
the real work. That's the mislead. Mm -hmm. And they're not telling you that, but that's a complete mislead. Say that loud. Let they, me say that one more time. They need to hear that. Oh, yeah, let me get some from the back. There is exercises that they will do that you look good. The cables, bicep. Looks great. Ain't gonna develop any arms. Um, those kind of things. This here, this is gonna be a nice little thick builder. Three more reps. Now, Danny's someone that is also taken and follow and, and, and learn from him as well because of the fact that what he does so is he develops more. superheroes in a sense. So he works with these top actors and gets them in shape from, from nowhere to somewhere in 12 weeks. So if he could do that with somebody who job depends on it, what about you guys that want to just get on stage and develop and be great? That's, that's another thing. And then you got Mona that just steps in and just starts crushing this. Danny, thank you, my Danny, friend. thanks. No problem, guys. No problem. It's your work. It kind of nice. All right. A little back action for Mo Mo. This is warming up. This is free warming up. Yeah, definitely let them know you're warming up. Little Lincoln Park. This song is free warming up. Thank you, Danny. So, surges. Hey, so most people will say if you're doing an exercise like seated row, uh, it's the same regardless of where the hand position is. Wow, really? And you know who says that too? A lot of PT trainers and stuff like that. Completely incorrect, not even just incorrect, completely idiotic, ignorant. So here is a reverse grip, elbows in tight. It's gonna be a lower back development, lower lats. Turning the hands completely over, elbows out, upper back and then the secondary is you can always kick your ass out or tuck it under so again it changes it but we're just doing seated rows so again a minor change changes everything so boom there all that big shelf the full-time life of a bodybuilder life what do they call it full-time bodybuilder full -time bodybuilder it is Wednesday, it is dry out. Hey guys, what can I do when my energy is low? Well, I, uh, let me, um, what's some other questions? Serge, what's some other questions? How do I keep my energy up when you're dieting like this? Um, how do I control the hunger when, when or, or curb my appetite when I'm hungry? I'm laying down because I am destroyed. I don't know, I get crazy. And I'm trying to tell these people it is not easy. Oh. I know. Look at Mona real quick, though. <laughs> Look at her doing the dry out. <laughs> and here's me again. Pleasure. <sighs> Tough one. Which is weird because you, if you guys are confused on why it's Wednesday, so the workouts are easier. Uh, the cardio is easier today. It's not as much. So everything's less. So why am I feeling worse? Huh. Well, that's the cool thing about a dry out. The dry out is it's, it's peaking. So here's the thing. When your metabolism is working at 100%, but you're not feeding it enough, that's when you're going to feel the most drained. You know when you don't feel drained is when your metabolism is a turtle. It's moving so slow. And so what's happening is your body is protecting itself. I'm gonna try to explain this to a full T. Serge, if, if you don't understand, speak up because you're speaking for the people. Your metabolism is up here and it's going 100 miles an hour, but you're not feeding it enough. So it's starving and it's getting rid of fat and it's going to your fat and it's taking everything you got. And so it's moving in this direction, but it's down here because you got nothing. It's eating your fat. You've got hardly any fat left. You're going at 100 miles an hour. So it's functioning. It's, it's that Mercedes, not Mercedes. It's the Lamborghini. And, it's, and you're flying now, but you're running out of gas. So it's going downhill. It's going regardless. So what's cool is right now I am sweating and burning up because metabolism is going so fast, but I feel terrible. Now, if I stayed like this for a long period of time, Serge, what would happen? Then you would just be destroying your body. 
Yeah, I'd be destroying my body, but what would my body do? It would shut down. It would shut down, why? Because now there is nothing feeding your body, so it's trying to retain everything in that. Right, it's gonna protect itself. That's why you don't do the dry out week after week. But I, I lost 10 pounds. Doesn't matter, it's not gonna continue that way. The whole program, the 30 day blitz is set up a certain way, then the dry out, and then we're gonna go 30 day blitz again. So you're setting it up in a way to where, and honestly, I'm sorry that I'm laying here guys, but I am, I am, I just got a half an hour of cardio and I need my green drink to give me something to go to this next level. Um, but I want to tell you that this is kind of how you're gonna feel. It's not bad in the sense of, you're, it's not medical, you're just tired. You, you really are and you're just running your body down which we're trying to take your body to the level of a Mr. Universe. For everybody that's overweight, for everybody that's pushing. If you're not at this level, that's okay. I'm at this level because the body fat is getting so low that there's nothing, there's nothing for the body to go to. So it's only the nutrition that's going in gets used up and spit out. So, and Serge is right. The body will protect itself. If I try to do this another week, it's gonna shut down completely and say no, because you're destroying your body. And that's what I don't want you guys to do. So jump on over there, check out what Mona's doing. Um, also check out Mona's page because what's great about her is um, I'm coming down from a big diet. So I'm one of these big guys at 275 pounds of muscle. So I'm not taking enough nutrition where Mona's the complete opposite. She's taking as much calories as I'm taking. So her energy is even better. And she's looking freaky. Check out her abs. So Get out of here. I'm not yes, you are. What we got here, Mo? Hi. What's going on? Well, guess what? I'm gonna make a green drink again. Ooh, a green Mo drink. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask Mike if he wants a couple of different ingredients in there. What I think it should have, but mm -hmm. um, you know, then he'll tell me gonna put the right amount of water, um, and then we'll just more add more water if we need to. Right. A lid. Oh, a Woo lid. We don't use those in this house. Yes, we do. Come on. All right. So, we have uh, some kale. We have some spinach, some broccoli, lemon, vitamin C. Always try to keep that going in there. And, uh, of course, we're going to get some uh, amino acids, some glutamine, and uh, BCAAs in there. Nice. Uh, all right. Let's start this baby up. Put the kale and it's going crazy. Why? It's supposed to have a That is spinach and broccoli. Spinach and it. broccoli. Spinach and broccoli. We've got uh, We're throwing in some vitamin C. Oh, right? yeah, a little vitamin C. Nice. Mike does vitamin, you know, C, D, E all day long, but we're just throwing some. It's also good for you. She just said ED. Yeah. Where are you, where are you, where are you going uh -huh. at? Mike's taking that I'm vitamin D. I'm going to alphabetic on you because I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does vitamin E for my skin. It does vitamin C for she my skin. She said ED. Yeah. Did you guys get that? Yeah. Vitamin C is in there now. Vitamin C. I'm going to put some lemon, then I'll throw it on. Whoa, what are you doing, Mike? Yeah. No, no, no. You guys ever have that? Whoa. Whoa. Mike's eating a lemon whole. Who does that? This crazy. So good. I'm just going to see if you do my, my yes. peel over here. Jeff, you ever had a lemon peel? I, I want no part of that. Yes, I did have it. You know where? When I, I, How many grow up? All right, we're throwing in yeah, right now. BCAs. We just threw in some essential Latinos. What? what is in. that for? You oh, oh. you're right. Now we're throwing in some glutamine. Oh, yeah. So, Michael. Yeah. On my last drink. Yeah, I'm eating my lemon. On my last drink that I made on my YouTube for energy, I've been researching some 
ingredients for energy and turmeric 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 <laughs> turmeric and ginger it gives you energy through the day are you okay if i put those in there Keith Evans doesn't something? know a ginger from gilligan's island damn are you okay with that oh, what a shame all right so it's okay with that so Ooh. that means what's this so this is a little turmeric uh, ginger sorry in the blender, not the blender, the uh, oh. garbage disposal. Yeah, it. that's right. And it smells good. And what was that, Mo? I do that all the time, just so you know. You put in, what was that second one right there? So I did turmeric and nice. I did ginger. Okay. Guys, anti-inflammatory. A lot of people drink pills of this. And you know what else is good for anti-inflammatory and for energy? What else? Easy. This? this is mint. Wow. You like mint, okay? Yeah. So I thought of you That's when mint. I picked this up. I said, for this next drink, I'm going to throw a little bit of mint. Um, it's the first time, guys. Yes. It's the first time yeah. you do this. Oh. Smell this. Seriously. Wow. That's. So I'm not going to put a lot. It's going to be just a little bit. Yeah. This This smells so good. I need a couple little... of leaves in yeah. there. Yeah. That's all you need. All right. Here we go. No granola, nothing in here. Just you're gonna love this. This is so good. Nice try, Mike. So obviously. Day three in the drought. Is Tang yes. sleeping? He's sleeping. Um, He's growing. Yeah, you're gonna find out how much you're gonna go. You're gonna love Give my drinks that. that I'm making. They're mm. so much better than Mike's drinks. Oof. Green boring drinks. Go to my YouTube. You'll oh my see what God, I'm look talking about. That color. Yeah. Looks right. delicious. That mint. Ooh. What color is that? <sighs> mint. It smell like, it smells seal. like a matcha. Matcha. You know what, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you guys don't know what matcha is. You live under a rock, Mike. Come guys, on. lemon, mint, ginger, turmeric. Hmm. Ooh. Can we get a? I can't waste it. Can we get a timer on that one? Did you guys see that? It was gone before I could see. All right. So. Tell me, sir, may I pour you some more? More porridge, please. More <laughs> porridge. Yeah. What do you think it's about good. that? It's good. Isn't it good? Little details, little things. I'm and beat up today. Oof. Guys, <laughs> you know who's not beat up? That's oh. right. <laughs> Let him know. Let him know. I feel great. Why is that? Calorie intake. <sighs> Protein to... I'm dieting. Yeah, but, you're, but you're dieting. You're doing just as much as I am. You're just... Uh, Most killing it. You're bred differently. You're, you're a beast. Yep. Yeah, when I moved here from New York, three hours difference, da, 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 I got up in the morning early with him, but I never took naps. Yeah, you don't... You don't... I, I got to get my naps. Yeah. I never take naps. And it's like, how do you go all day long without naps? I was just watching Jordan Peterson talk about choosing a job and stuff, mm -hmm. and, but he was talking about stuff like stress or... Right. Um, the, uh, the, the secondary of the stuff, which is interesting to me because it says how to choose a job for something and it talks about stress and it talks about if you're one of these people that wants to be leisure, which is me, to make sure you choose correctly compared to someone like you who you continuously move. You continuously move. I do. You don't, and we're not, this isn't a play on social media. This is, this is her. And so when we agreed about having uh, um, a, a mutant baby, one of the things is you go, I got this covered. Don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm a doer. But I like, yeah, you yeah. get up the same time I do, and then you don't stop. And I go to bed like two hours before you. So it's it's pretty impressive to and know that I get a nap in. Two hours? Two hours? Two, three, four. <laughs> Five four hours. hours. Okay, so, okay, so anyways, <laughs> I, go to, so. I go to bed at three in the afternoon. No, I'm just kidding. He goes but, to bed at seven. Yeah. I go to bed I'm at I'm in like bed at seven. 10. I sleep by eight. Yeah, up 10, at three. 10, 30. And you don't stop. Mm -mm. So for you people at home, there's a lot of you that are, are like Mona, that just continuously work, don't do the naps, and uh, are don't want to sit down. Um... That's one thing I do miss. I miss going to see movies and sitting down with you. But, yeah. but for you guys at home, make sure you choose a workout plan that suits you also. So if you like being on that regimen where you like working out in the morning and at night or something like that, um, pick that workout plan. 
if you're more like me that just wants to train that one time a day early in the morning and be done with it, pick that plan. But that will help you stay consistent. Yeah. I know this is, we took it from somewhere else. This is a, a child psychologist I was talking about that I was listening to. But in this aspect of it is the same principles would apply on, on how you want to live your life. Uh, Serge and Jeff are goers. Uh, they're, they're workers, which is great for me because uh, we've gone through. You, you, I think that since I've met you, when I met Mike, he wasn't really, and I'm sorry to say this, I don't think he was surrounded by the right people. So it all, I mean. We got rid of I, Heath I, Evans. I, yeah. We, no, it Locked is, in. We don't hang out with Kelly there. anymore. He still nope. comes in and takes the garbage out. Heath is still there. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, but I'm saying, I feel like you surrounded yourself with better people. And that's because I opened some doors not doors introducing you to people but doors to see no i think I, I think that's 100 percent better that'll be another youtube but I, it's that whole concept about um each time you level up you're around a different kind of uh circle of friends right and it's amazing how each time you succeed they talk about um more doors open for you well yeah because you succeeded and this level of people are working harder than these people um, and they're doing better. I know that may sound harsh to you, but that's just the facts. And so these people have connections and those doors open, and then you move up another level, and then you got these new people and those doors open, and then you move up another level. So it, it's a continuous cycle if you're st fighting to be better. And, and I think when I started only... dating you, that, that was one of the things is you were very much matter of fact of, hey, all this, gotta go, this is what we're doing. I'm really all about loyalty. Like, I am so loyal to my friends, my family. Um, I'm just, if I tell you I'll do something, I'll do it. It's no way I won't, unless God forbid something. Yeah, happens. I think the loyalty is there and for you, but that's, that's, but how you choose what, what the I'm people to be around is different. Okay, well, what I'm trying to say is this, actually. This is what I'm trying to get to. If you get the right team around you, make sure you take care of the team around you. Because if you don't, and if you treat them like shit, guess what? They can't wait to, to get the to hell home. away uh, what's that? from you. Yeah, you don't want them to, to come Hawaii. to work and be. Oh. <laughs> you don't yeah. want them to. Go. I hate when I see people going to work and they're miserable. And they're like, shit, right. I gotta go to work again. I want to see excitement. I want to see. I was so excited going to my restaurant every morning. I was there, the first one. I didn't have to be there because I wasn't gonna get fired. I was just excited about working and talking to people. It was just me. To, did I cook breakfast for you, Serge, today? Yes, you did. That was more than you a breakfast. For Josh, you. And that was. I did. You, you have these guys. to take care of your crowd. Please keep that in mind. Don't treat them bad because that's not going to benefit you in any way possible. Make sure, make sure, trust me when I tell you, take care of them. That brings this them This is closer. good because of the fact that you, you treat Serge and Jeff really, really well. I think oh, yeah. I do. I don't know about oh, Serge. Yeah. I, mean, I balance I don't know it about out Jeff, because, I, because I treat them really, really bad. <laughs> So it balances like right in the middle. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So that's yeah. A good when Mike Zen. is moody, which has been kind of a lot this month, <laughs> I just I just say, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll talk to him when he's in the bed. I'll talk to him. She later. talks to me later. She goes, <laughs> Jeff wanted to talk to you, but he says I'm not going to talk to Mike like he is right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to put my two cents in that thing. It no, it's good. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is this is really behind the scenes. Uh -huh. Me fatigued, tired. Um, letting you guys know that you may feel this way and then on top of that that circle of people like mona's talking about it's it's so it's so big and we you know what's nice is uh this new ventures of these movies that i'm going to be doing and stuff and we got a good team around us mm -hmm. and you are taking care of them uh it's we are seeing and, and the titans are coming with me which is cool uh -huh. all the titans around the world are coming with us that we're going to this next level and we're going together and it's not just you and me, and it's not just Serge and Jeff, um, but we're gonna bring Heath with us. Um, eh, eh, maybe. maybe. Um, but, but we're bringing over 2,000 members of the Titan crew with us on this journey, and that's freaking cool. And, and we, we, we try to be uh, so responsive to all the emails, all the comments, all the DMs. <laughs> Guys, it's a lot. Um, I mean, come on now, you have 3,000 people waiting to get into the... Uh, yeah, Titan that's weird. Crew. Yeah, that's yeah. A, I mean, that's cool. It's, it's not weird, but, yeah. it, but it, it, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. But Definitely. and we do our best, especially now that we are so busy with the training and dieting and this whole month, 
yeah we, we did our best to answer to everyone so if we missed your message or we haven't gotten back to you for any type of be reason be patient be cool mm -hmm. about that yeah. and then like uh, don't get luke, mad luke don't making get... a do you know about luke making yeah. a decision yesterday uh, yeah luke cut out a couple uh one-on-one -on -one clients and said no more um because of their demeanor and their personality and stuff and it was going to rock uh -huh. the boat and they were very um i want to be handheld and i understand being handheld and stuff but Unfortunately, uh, time doesn't permit the hand holding. I want to give you the information, and then also I have a, a trait mm -hmm. um, on how I te I teach like my dad taught, because he had ten kids he had to raise, and I have two thousand. Um, I can't hand held hand hold all of you. I need you to do your work as well, and that's that goes back to the point of you guys um, hearing what I got to say. Go and do your research apply it see if it works for you and then get back to me uh so that's great i did a great youtube video today that's gonna go up here soon you I'm crushed a thousand you what it is that's right yeah i'm not gonna tell you what it is the video about but she's I gonna gave go you over tips. and watch it i gave you tips of how you should start on your weight loss or, on, or any other habits you may have Ooh. and what could help you i that's gave great. you tips on that i'm telling you go out and watch it it's really good i'm so impressed I did good today. Serge gave me a tip. Yes, I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, wait a minute. Video. That's on my fans only account. Right, Have a good day, time. guys, man. Enjoy these videos. Mo's done. I'm done. I'm going to go finish up this cardio. Yep. Start getting ready. Is that drink kicking in yet? I feel, I feel better. Oh, see, I'm telling you. Look how fast that happened. Yeah, it happened so it fast. It happened. I, so I stopped started. cardio. Yeah. Cardio, which is so easy. No, no wait. But, but, he stopped me from doing my Yeah, cardio. I stopped I got on and I was there for said, 38 Mo. seconds. And he said, hey, by the way, I need a green drink. I'm like, and I walked away. <laughs> 38 seconds. <laughs> All right, then. All right.